Question 14 is another problem going over regression. What we see right here is we had students predict their head circumference using their arm length. So we actually get the regression equation down here, and we have that the predicted head circumference is equal to 46.78 plus 0 0.39 times the length of someone's arm. And there's lots to interpret on the screen right now. We even have R squared, which has not been mentioned yet. R squared right here would be 11.59% of the variation in head circumference is explained by the variation in arm length. And a general interpretation of R squared would be blank percent of the variation in Y is explained by the variation in X. Some important stuff to note right here that these problems don't ask, but you might be asked to interpret the R squared somewhere on your test. So we have the intercept and we have the slope down here. We want to know if the relationship between the two variables in the model is statistically significant. A p-value is the probability of R results or results more extreme happening by random chance given that there is no association between the two variables. And as you'll notice, we're talking about a probability here. So these probabilities are p-values. So this narrows your choices down to two right here. So we have two p-values, the p-value of the intercept and the p-value of the slope. And the slope, which is related to arm length here, is actually your x variable. So the x and the y having some relationship is what we're interested in. So we are looking at the p-value of the slope, which is 0 0.0006. And this is below our threshold of 0.05. And you'll notice jump output usually stars this to denote that it is statistically significant. So yes, we have a statistically significant relationship. And of course, the value you should circle right here is 0 0.0006. And that means there is a small chance that what we are observing occurred by random chance. And to be specific, we do not think what we saw here occurred by chance, that there is some actual relationship going on. We're not saying a cause and effect, but what we have here did not happen by chance, and that there's some association or relationship between the two variables.